Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. This week we're going to talk about insurance. Now I know it's not super sexy, but we're going to try our best to make it interesting. Let's get to it. Here's what we're going to do to make things interesting. So I'm going to be talking about insurance on this side of the screen. And I'll kind of tell you about the experience I had. I'll do even some of the quotes from the calls. Over here, we're gonna also do some build footage. And over there, we're gonna do some driving footage, just to keep you interested. What we're gonna do on the insurance side is I'm gonna tell you just kind of a couple of the highlights from each conversation. Most of the conversations took um, between five and 20 minutes. Um, so I've got a little bit of unique circumstance. Um, I have uh, completed and assembled a kit vehicle that I have registered, has been inspected and registered. I've got license and everything, but I'm looking to insure it. So um, make and model is not gonna be like Honda, so it probably won't be like something in your system. I'm just wondering if that's something that you guys would still be able to insure. Okay, and would you have know anybody that might be able to? I started with uh, some of the more familiar ones like State Farm. State Farm? Um, yes, I had a question about insuring a car. Um, uh -huh. the, the trick is this is a, a, a kit car. Do you guys have or offer policies um, for things like this? We do do some kit cars. Hold on one second. Let me um, give you a name of a guy that I think can place this for you. He writes for a bunch of different specialty companies. That's what this is going to be. Yeah, I don't think there's something that State Farm can do. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for calling the Geico office. How can I help you? Um, yes, I was uh, trying to find out if you guys can offer me some insurance. We unfortunately don't do custom vehicles um, or like kit vehicles. Okay. But yeah, with with Geico, we don't unfortunately can't do a, a custom or kit vehicle. Okay. Thank you for calling Liberty Mutual Insurance. Okay. Yeah. So again, if you're looking to just do a kit car, no, unfortunately, we can't insure that. Um, it looks like the vehicle was declined because it does not fit our program at this time. Um, very quickly, I realized that uh, these companies would not kind of insure this type of vehicle. After review with underwriting, we would, we're going to have to decline this specific kit car. It's not going to be something we're going to be able to do. Now, I would say actually a lot of these insurance companies would be able to insure a replica vehicle. So um, a lot of these insurance companies are looking for make and model. And so if you're doing a, a Ford Mustang, a 67 Mustang or something, that kind of falls within their uh, normal thing. So they can say, okay, yep, it's this make, it's this model. We know what that is, we can insure it. For me, um, this is a make and model that nobody really had heard of. And so uh, this is kind of more of a, what is the cost of the vehicle you're trying to insure and then trying to somehow prove that that vehicle is worth insuring. The other thing I learned is that uh, many of these companies, um, if I would call an agent, they would actually represent more than just one company. And I learned that they would actually have the ability to go out and get it quoted by essentially send it out as a bid for underwriting. See, you know, which companies or which insurance agencies could insure this type of vehicle. Several of them pointed me towards Haggerty. Um, so the one thing I'm getting here is that one, we don't really insure hand-built supercars, which is what we would rate this with this build and the Tesla so, um, like I said, I think at this point in time, we're going to have to, I guess, tell people 
this sort of kit car, Haggerty is not the place to go. <laughs> Haggerty is one of the ones I got closest with. Um, they, again, they're more about classics. Um, they are moving towards electric. They actually quoted me, but then later called and said they had to decline. So I can tell you from my specific case, I was not in good hands, Allstate. No one was like a good neighbor, State Farm. 15 minutes did not save me 15%, GEICO. I could not only pay for what I need, Liberty Mutual. We do not know a thing or two because we have not seen a thing or two, Farmers. We do not insure carefully, dream fearlessly, American family. Nationwide is not on my side. Haggerty, let's not drive together. So you're probably wondering, well, who did insure you? Here's the call. Um, I have a question. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is, but um, I am trying to uh, insure a kit car. We have a company called Progressive that will insure those. Okay. Bam! Just like that. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. A winner! So it turns out for a car like mine, in these kind of rare conditions, Progressive was the one that was able to help me. Thanks, Flo. I got the insurance through Progressive, and the cool part is I got full coverage, uh, not just liability only. And so I got to uh, value the vehicle, and they wrote a policy specifically for that. And I kind of looked at some of the uh, average insurance prices uh, for the various states, and it turns out that uh, for me, this was actually less expensive than kind of average uh, insurance coverage. So this turned out to be a big win. So if people are wondering kind of what's left to do, the next big milestone is the finish or the color of the car. So I'd really like to hear from everybody uh, what color you think it should be. Um, I do have a big question for um, a lot of you builders out there. I want to know paint versus wrap. Um, so if you guys have suggestions what might be better, let me know in the comments. For everybody else, please give me color suggestions. Uh, put a link to a picture, picture that I originally uh, thought this car might look like. If you guys have better suggestions, let me know. So I did feel like it was important to kind of show you guys what the process is of trying to get insurance for a vehicle like this. I know there will be others. Uh, I know there have been others that have blazed this trail and I know there will be others that would like to know how to do this. So that's the intent of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.